we all have applications in our laptops and desktops uh, which uh, start when the computer boots and it uh, runs in background consumes ram and cpu and it's just a waste of resource so how do i handle it uh, i just double click on this and for example i have chrome and logitech hub which run in background so it closes it and it will, if uh, any other application opens in the meantime it will close that also not any application any application that i have mentioned in the list which list i'll show you that later so uh, to begin with uh, first i'll tell uh, how to get this working on your system uh, for those who only want that for those who are interested in the script I'll explain that later after I'm done with this okay so if you want this on your system or uh, I'll put this link in the description so let's copy this link and go to it and from here just download if you know how to download from uh, github you can skip it but yeah it is simple just go to this code then download zip and then i download it in this demo folder save okay now let's go to this demo folder and extract with uh, i have you can extract with 7-zip whichever you want i am extracting it with winrar now go inside this and this stop apps ps1 file you see this so you should copy this and paste it on desktop i keep it on my desktop but i already have another one on the desktop so yeah now all you have to do is double click on it and it will start running okay it might not work that way for you if you haven't used ps uh, powershell scripts earlier so if that is the case what do you have to do so like uh, assume that i've copied it on my desktop okay but uh, that's it okay so now let's assume it is this one so what happens if you double click on it it will open notepad probably in your system if you have not set uh, what application uh, to use for ps1 files okay so in that case just go to right click properties and then opens with uh, format is windows partial you'll have to make it because uh, by default it should be notepad so go to more apps then scroll down look for another in pc and here you'll have to go to this location uh you can find this location by uh doing like open file location for power cell when you search it in uh, start or if you have an icon wherever so by go to location you can go to that location so let me press enter and here you'll see this powershell application just double click on it or click on open and that is that will do the job now after that you just have to double click on any ps1 files not just this file any ps1 file double click and it will um, execute the code instead of opening the editor okay so that is only if it doesn't work um so now it will be working but you will have to make some changes the first uh, this is not that important the important thing the important thing is this uh, get process chrome lg hub you see this so this is where you put the name of the applications that you want to close uh, when you run the script okay so whichever name you put over here that application or that process will be closed and all its child process will be closed okay uh, will be uh, yeah shut down closed so now how do we know what name like for logitech hub it is lg hub so what name to use for which application for google chrome it is just chrome so you have to put the exact name how do you get the exact name so for that you'll have to do a one time thing that is uh, let me open powershell so i'll open windows powershell that is the 5 no, version 5 and oh, we have to uh, type here get process okay get process just this press enter if you don't want to type it get process is the like just copy this part okay 
um, it is that command only but don't uh, copy the entire thing only get process and you will have this uh, list on the right hand side and this contains the name of the process for example for Firefox it is Firefox just copy this Firefox and paste it if you want for so like for MSH uh, it is MSH for MySQL it is this for notepad it is this for notepad plus plus so whichever application you want just uh, search for this name copy that name and then paste it with a double quotes like if I want to add Firefox what I'll do is I'll add double quotes and Firefox okay so let me just undo the change okay now uh, so we have this list save the file Control S will save it then run it uh, from next time just you have to like uh, assume that I have started my system and uh, I have got uh, this uh, Logitech hub uh, running in the background like I'll just close it so it will run in the background it has not stopped it is running in the background and let me run uh, my application so it will uh, close Logitech hub and for example if Chrome opens a few seconds after booting up then this counter is going on so Chrome and all its child processes will be closed as you can see there but um, <clears throat> and uh, after the amount of time that you have set uh, the window will close automatically you don't have to do anything okay just run it and minimize it and forget it okay just ru run it and then minimize it it will close on its own uh, if you think that it has done like if the message so shows the applications close you can close it manually also if you leave it it will close after some time so it is not a uh, anyway it mm, doesn't matter now uh, the second thing so this you need to know how to change the second thing you should uh, know about that you might have to modify is this interval and this counter two variables okay so what is interval interval is the um, amount of uh, is the num seconds okay like if I put here 3 then it means 3 seconds so it is the number of seconds after which this entire code will be repeated what is this code this code is search for the programs that are mentioned here and stop them okay kill them uh, that is what it is so if I put three seconds so after every three seconds it will search if this program is running if it is running just kill it okay and uh, then it will wait for three seconds then again three seconds later it will search and then kill it uh, search and then kill it if it is running it will kill it if it is not running then no problem and what is this counter so this counter is uh, the number of times this entire thing is going to happen like if I put 5 so 5 times this entire thing will happen so 5 into 3 15 seconds so first 15 seconds any application that opens in first 15 seconds uh, and is mentioned here in the list all that will be closed okay so if some app opens after 15 seconds like for me Logitech Hub opens very quickly like I boot up and Logitech Hub opens uh, but Google Chrome it takes a lot of time to open uh, more than one minute like uh, 70 seconds or something so for me what I'll do is I'll keep the counter at 10 and I'll keep the interval at let's say 6 or 7 let's say 7 so 7 into 10 that is 70 seconds I've got okay so in 70 seconds uh, Google Chrome should open uh, in that amount of time and if it opens it will be killed so yeah you don't have to otherwise what I had to do was I had to open the task manager and then wait for Google Chrome to start as when it starts I had to manually kill all the process step by step so yeah like you saw there were six uh, sub processes for chrome so yeah kill all of them so it has a lot of hassle so it saves all the trouble and that is all for uh, using it okay now uh, if you want to yeah there is one more thing uh, regarding using it uh, when you saw the list uh, of the applications closed okay let me just run it it will be closed okay so this list I'm talking about so in this list you might see some other names like uh, let's say 
it will not happen every time but sometimes you might see something like ms sql or something uh sorry mysql uh, something which is not uh, with which is not mentioned in this one okay so what happens is that uh, this uh, the method that i'm using to get the list of the applications closed it uh, it will list any other application that is closed at that point of time uh, and, and not exactly by this script like uh, I, like this script is closing chrome but some other process is shutting down uh, let's say edge so edge will also be mentioned there but don't worry it uh, it is not a problem uh, the script is working fine it is just uh, showing that edge was also closed at that point of time only okay so not a big deal just ignore it and uh, yeah so let's begin with the script part those who are interested in what is the logic what i've done so basically i've uh, explained it there is an interval there is a counter okay so if, while the counter is greater than gt means greater greater than zero counter uh, then uh, run this loop and then counter will be decremented by one okay and uh, what happens in the loop so there is a process list this is a variable that is storing the list of processes uh, that we get by using the command get process now this error silently continue this part is to prevent showing of unnecessary errors okay what happens is that when you use get process and this uh, let's say chrome has not opened yet or uh, it was opened and this script killed it so in either case chrome is not running at that particular point of time and get process will not be able to find it so it will give an error that process not found or something like that okay we don't we are not interested in that error we know if it is not found we don't care if it is found kill it if it is not found uh, just uh, shut up so for that thing we have this error action silently continue so if you uh, have not found it don't throw unnecessary errors just continue doing your work and don't bother me and uh, so if process list so what this does like if there is something in it if there is nothing we are not going to stop anything right but if there is something like uh, if uh, chrome or if uh, logitech if either one or both um, are running as at least one of it should be running then what happens stop process is called and stop process will uh, close it uh, forcefully i'm using dot four so that it doesn't ask for permissions and then get a process uh, uh, where object has so this line is for printing the log that you saw like which are killed so what it does it gets all the process then it filters only those pro processes who who which have been uh, closed uh, which uh, whose has exited is false okay so like when the stop process will kill something uh, for that process has exited will become true and this line will catch the name of that process and print it okay as simple as that so that is the logic i'm using over here and then write host counter just to show the counter not very necessary uh, this line was also not necessary but yeah mm, then we are using this i am using this because when the counter let's say from 10 it will uh, continue to uh, decrement till oh, 2 then when it comes to 1 what happens uh, it will uh, execute this entire code till this bracket and then what will happen is that if if this if was not present if this if was not present then it would just wait for start sleep means wait for the given amount of seconds which is interval is seven seconds on the top okay so if it was not mentioned if this if was not present then it would wait for another uh seven seconds and then it would close okay so if it is not going to do anything why wait for seven seconds just close at the moment you finish doing the work right so it does not matter if you re remove this uh, condition uh, and this break thing so it will work just fine only that uh, f uh, for saving the resources for seven seconds or ten seconds whatever interval you put so yeah it is a little bit more efficient that's why mm, not does not matter much little bit more efficient okay so 
mm, yeah and then uh, the last line it is just start sleep we will just uh, pause the code for uh, the seconds uh, i've written seconds so it will take consider seconds and how many seconds so whatever you mentioned in the interval so you got it put the number of seconds over here put number of counters you want to keep uh, i'll suggest 7 and 10 is enough or you can put 7 11 so if your laptop is or desktop is slow then 7 11 should do because that will be 77 seconds so i think in that much time you can also put 10 11 so 100 and Oh, whatever feels uh, nice to you. It doesn't matter much. You just have to minimize it and keep it. Okay. So I think that is all for this video. And yes, there was an instance when uh, after closing Chrome, the script got stuck at counter like it was going from 10, 9, 8 and it got stuck at 5, I think. But that is not a big problem. You, I just you just click on the cross the red cross thing and it will close so and that happened only once uh, i could not reproduce it so i could not find what happened maybe some other background task was going like windows update or something was going on so it was uh, the system lagged or something so i don't know it happened once but other than that yeah i don't think there is any other issue so that is all for this video bye